Hi, this is Jenna and I live in the Pacific Northwest and today I'm going to talk to you about um, why leaves are beneficial to your soil and why you should keep your leaves um, and not get rid of them or gather somebody else's. So recently it was fall cleanup day and um, all my neighbors bagged up um, their leaves and set their leaves at the curb and it was very convenient for me to go around and just load them into my car. So um, here is what I have gathered um, the other day. This was two car loads full. Um, I used my uh, RAV and I just loaded it up as much as I could stick in there and brought them to my house um, and put them in my backyard. Uh, so what I'm going to do with these leaves is I'm either going to um, make a big compost pile. This is what I did last year. Um, I made a huge compost pile about six feet by six feet high um, right here, right on top of my garden bed. Uh, and I layered in chicken compost and um, any compost I had left from my garden. Right now I'm leaving these... Um, these vegetables alone because um, my chickens are pecking at them still and um, they help to kind of hold the soil together when the chickens have free rain out here so um, but I will make a big compost pile and I also um, will create a big layer of mulch and the deeper the mulch the better um, it's going to protect the soil it's going to keep it warm it's going to feed the soil life and it's going to um, keep all that rain from washing away um, all of the nutrients. So um, some of it's going to still be there in the springtime when you're ready to plant and that's okay. You, it's very easy to just um, move aside and add to, um, add whatever's remaining to a compost pile um, or use it for mulch around um, any starter plants. Um, what uh, What it's doing all winter long, um, it's, it's also breaking down and, and creating compost. So um, when you move whatever's left aside, um, you know, you'll have soil that's totally ready to go. Um, I have my chickens um, and they go through and um, they help to break it down, especially if I have a big uh, compost pile of it. They love to um, get in there and dig the compost. The leaves aren't um, as easy to kick through as the wood chips and as you can see they've gone through all the wood chips that I've uh, laid about and kicked them all over the place. That's okay I'll clean it up in the spring. Um, right now this is totally um, chicken territory. We don't come out and play in the yard. I come out here and, and do some yard work but um, pretty much I let my chickens have it during the off season. Um, so anyway, um, I would encourage you to keep your leaves. And it's okay um, to not have them chopped up. Um, I, I prefer not to use the gas and um, run my, um, my lawnmower over the leaves um, because um, I just don't want, want to use the resource. Um, but I do get leaves from my neighbor who does that because that's how he cleans up his leaves. He, he just mows over his lawn um, and he gives them all to me. And um, I find that uh, it's really nice um, to add the, the leaves and the grass clippings um, right on your soil. It composts down a lot faster than whole leaves. Um, so I use, I use a combination. I use that and then I, I put a big layer of uh, uh, unprocessed, unchopped leaves on top. Because uh, the thicker, the better. It's going to compost faster the thicker it is. Um, it's going to add more protection and it's going to condition your soil better. So, um, keep your leaves or gather somebody else's. Thank you.